In a HPLC column, of course, there aren't any physical plates, but the term is still used to describe the efficiency of the separation. We use the term theoretical plate in chromatography. One theoretical plate describes one exchange which is referred to as one partition of a component between the stationary and mobile phases. This is just like one equilibration of the vapour and liquid in the distillation column. Typical plate numbers are shown in this slide for various HPLC columns. If the column length is doubled, the plate count also doubles. The size of the particle of the stationary phase is typically about 5 microns, and a typical length of the HPLC column is about 250 millimetres long. If the length of the column is shortened, then the plate count is shortened proportionately. The other major factor in the number of plates in the HPLC column is the size of the particles. Smaller particles are better, and you can see that as we reduce the particle size to 3.5 microns, the plate count increases.